Uh, let me begin today by updating everybody on current weather conditions and what we can expect from Hurricane Sandy over the next two days. Uh, we continue to remain in touch with Governor Cuomo and state officials in coordinating our response to this storm. And I'm also announcing right now that we avoided uh, city public schools to remain closed tomorrow. Uh, there's no chance that the mass transit will be back in time to serve people and they're always worried about cleanup even though the storm should abate dramatically as we get into Tuesday. The current track provided by the National Hurricane Center shows Sandy making landfall just south of Atlantic City this evening and that keeps New York City well within the danger zone of the storm and it's why as of now we are under a coastal flood warning from now through 3 p.m. on Tuesday and high wind warning through 6 p.m. tomorrow. This is a massive storm. Hurricane force winds extend some 175 miles in every direction of this center. The storm may strengthen as it meets the cold front approaching from the northwest, and that's when it changes from a tropical storm to a northeaster, which has very big implications for uh, those areas to the west of us and to the north of us. Um, as we've emphasized all along, the greatest danger posed by uh, Sandy is the coastal storm surge it will produce. Uh, we've already had as much flooding, for example, mm -hmm. along the FDR, which is fundamentally closed at the moment, as we did in Hurricane Irene. <coughs>